to wrap up here, just deploying Verka. So, you know, one of the things that we offer is like super scalability. What you do when you're deploying Vertica is you fire up our management console and then tell uh, Vertica where Cloudian is, first of all, and then second, how many nodes you want, right? So I can do anywhere from one to a thousand nodes, right? I guess you could go, uh, I, I don't know why you'd use a thousand nodes. I think even our biggest case study has something like 256, but you know, you can, you can do as many nodes as you want. Uh, and then uh, you can then also connect up MicroStrategy, Power BI, Logi, Tableau to that. So pretty simple. I'm going to use this console. I'm going to establish how many nodes I want and then use the object store as my main repository. And then if at some point I need to elastic, make the, the architecture elastic, I can very easily scan up, scale up and down the number of compute nodes that I have. Okay, And that won't impact it. Remember, this is separate from Cloudian, right? So the compute is separate from the storage and I can scale up the number of nodes and scale them down pretty easily. Uh, and that's really what this slide is about. And then, you know, also I talked about workload separation, which is a super, super important feature. So let's say I want to set up a, a system where uh, I just want three nodes. All they do all day long is data load. They load data into the, into the data warehouse or data lake. Uh, marketing want, wants to have their own cluster. And so they can run queries all day and not have to worry about things like the dashboards, the high concurrency reporting and analytics that the CEO is doing. So I can set, set up these subclusters, these uh, multiple clusters, and all of these work in isolation on top of the same cloudy and storage. We do that through a system of caching that's really super effective so that marketing and data loading are not gonna affect my dashboards. And all of that, again, could be managed through this management console. And then finally, you know, just there's sort of like a data fabric almost approach here as well, right? So I can set up a main repository with Cloudian, again, using that for my data warehouse. I can use uh, Cloudian to store external tables like Orc and Parquet and Avro and things like that. And, and I can access that as part of my analytics. And then also I can use schema on read. So if I have text and CSV files, I can very easily read those in to the nodes and store those in, in, in Cloudian. So there's almost like this data fabric that starts to appear when you use Vertica and Cloudian together. It's sort of a centralization, centralization of where the data is stored and a centralization of how you analyze that data. 